Hey girls, so I want to do a review and kind of tell you about fetal Dopplers and um, what I have. So my pregnancy with my son was high risk and I was bleeding for the first 16 weeks and even after that stopped I was still high risk because of a blood disorder that I have and I have asthma and like a couple medical conditions put me in high risk no matter what. So um, I'm in high risk. I had the bleeding. I was always worried I was miscarrying. It is very stressful when you're pregnant to see blood for 16 weeks. Like, it's terrible. And um, I decided, well, I asked my doctor about fetal Dopplers, and I said, I know you can. I had looked into it, and I know you can get them for use at home. So I asked her what she thought. And I had the same OB with my son as I have now. Um, but I asked her what she thought about it. And she said, yeah, that's, you know, fine. If that will help you feel better and you can listen to the heartbeat at home and you know your baby's still in there and still doing good. And, you know, if you don't hear a heartbeat, come in and we'll take a look. So, you know, she agreed, like, it's a good idea. I decided, you know, I, I did some research. The company I decided to go with was called um, Stork Radio. And it's www.storkradio.com. So, storkradio.com. And uh, I bought, well, you can rent or you can buy the Dopplers. And I rented my Doppler. And I have all my paperwork here. You can get a package deal for like three months is X amount of dollars. Um, let me see what deals they have going on right now. So for the fetal Doppler that I got, I have, you can get three months for $126 or six months for $234. Um, and then after those months, I have the website up here, so sorry if I'm not looking at you. After those months, um, it goes to $49 a month. That's, that's the more expensive one on their site now. Um, they have a three, mine's a two megahertz probe. They do have a three month one. Um, I don't know, and the, there are two different brands. Huntley, which is the one I have. I have the Huntley FD1 plus fetal Doppler with heart rate display and two megahertz. Probe. That's the one I have. Um, but it looks like they have a Stork Radio fetal Doppler with heart rate and 3 megahertz probe. And it is $60 for three months, $102 for six months, and then $25 a month after that. So they do have more reasonable price options. The one that I have, I rented it for a while. I was still a high risk pregnancy. I still wanted to make sure that everything was okay and I really felt good having it and knowing I could check the heartbeat whenever I wanted to. So um, I decided to keep paying the 49 a month um, until I had my son. And at that point I had paid a lot of money. <laughs> and you can purchase these. The purchase price for the one that I have is $5.99. And what they'll do is they'll take any of your rental fees and apply them towards the purchase price. Um, and then you can still pay, or you can just keep it for X amount of months until you've paid the purchase price, and then you keep it. So I wound up just paying it off because I was like, I'm going to want one of these in my next pregnancy, and actually paying it off was cheaper than renting it again. So, you know, I just bought it. Um, and then it looks like the Stork Radio brand one, and this is the one with the, that has the digital display, which actually tells you the heartbeat like the rate, theirs is $149 to buy. Um, or they have one, a fetal Doppler that doesn't have the heart rate display and it's $189. I don't know why there's such a difference in the prices. I don't know. I really like the one I have and it's the one that was $5.99. Um, if you watch like a lot of like pregnancy shows or whatever, the, the doctors use this one that I have a lot. 
you see it all the time, like midwives use them. Um, if you've watched um, The Business of Being Born or Pregnant in America, the midwives use this one. I've seen it in those documentaries. So this is my field Doppler. And here's a little probe. And this is the little probe that I've seen in the, the documentaries. You, you see this on the belly. Um, and it's pretty easy. You just turn it on. You just hit this. And you saw the display come up there. And um, you just take this little probe. You put some Doppler wavelength um, conductive gel on your belly and you can put some on this too and just slide it around um, until you hear the heartbeat. They give you um, instructions on somewhere here, tips on using your Doppler and they tell you, you know, you might be more likely to find it if you have a full bladder. You might be able to find the heartbeat as early as um, eight weeks, but sometimes you don't hear it until 12 weeks. Um, it tells you where to put the probe um, in different, you know, when you are first early pregnancy. Um, it tells you how to tell the difference between picking up your own heartbeat and the baby's. And once you've heard a fetal heartbeat, you'll know what you're looking for. It sounds way different than your own. Your heartbeat sounds really slow and the fetal heartbeat's like like really fast. So, um, and sometimes the Dopplers, if they read either under 100 or over 200, it's picking up your heartbeat. And like the higher numbers, it's actually picking up the different valves in your heart opening and closing. So, you know, for every beat, there are two valves that open, so it, it doubles whatever your, your heartbeat is. Um, yeah, it says it's not uncommon to hear the opening and closing of your heart valves and display reading over 200. And it says this will happen less frequently as your baby grows and the baby's heart, be, you know, grows and becomes louder. Um, also, if you refer a friend um, and your friend rents or purchases a Doppler from Cirque Radio, they'll give you a month for free. And, like, I'm not, like, telling you to go here or anything, but because I already bought mine, like, I can't benefit from that. But if you do it and you tell someone else about it and they tell you that you referred them, you can get a month free. So that's cool. Um, and then it comes with a little book. Like, pretty much I got everything you would get if you bought it new. Um, and then the only thing, the only trouble I've had with it is when I went to switch the battery, I got Duracell. And it didn't work. And I was like, what is going on? And um, then I read all the papers that I probably should have read. And it says you need an alkaline battery. So I have um, Energizer. And with the Energizer, it works. So that's one thing to know. Pay attention, actually. Even if it's a 9 volt, there are different kinds of 9 volts. So make sure. Sometimes with medical equipment, it does make a difference. Um, then there's a little port here. You can put headphones in here. And then it also comes with a little cord. You can hook it up to your PC and you can like record the sound. Um, I don't think it works with the Mac and I never did that anyways. I would just put um, like my iPhone, turn it on, turn the recorder on and, and record it that way. So I love the Doppler. I will start using it um, probably once we hear the heartbeat in the doctor's office because I don't want to drive myself crazy um, trying to find it and it not being there you know, because it's too early. And in the beginning, it's not uncommon to um, hear the heartbeat one day and not be able to find it the next. That's normal. So if it's something you think is going to stress you out because you can't find a heartbeat in the beginning, it's probably not the best thing for you. Um, if you just want it because it could reassure you everything is okay, then it's fine. Like, that's what I wanted it for. Um, you should know when the baby rolls over and things when they're bigger, the heart rate will go up. If they're resting, it will go down. So, you know, if you're if you're going to read too much into what the actual rate is and if the baby's doing okay and everything, it, it can stress you out a lot more than it can help you. But in my case, I thought I was losing my baby. And so anytime I could find a heartbeat, 
it was reassuring. So that is that. Um, oh, and one, one thing I should tell you is these are medical devices and they, the FDA makes you get a prescription for them. So if you want one, you do have to talk to your doctor. If you want like a real field doctor, I know you can go buy one in a store, but they're not the same. Um, you can't hear those until like the second or third trimester. The, the real fetal Dopplers you can hear early and um, your doctor has to sign a paper saying that yeah you can have one so you do have to talk to your doctor about it you do have to get them to sign this company I know that they check because um, I had to get everything approved through my doctor before I could rent it and it's not covered by insurance it wasn't for me maybe it could be for you I don't know but um, you do still have to get your doctor to sign off on it. So that's one important thing I should tell you about Dopplers. But I love mine and um, can't wait to start using it again. So here it is. Yeah. And um, the speaker does get really loud. And if, if you don't want other people to hear it, you can put the headphones in. Um, and I, I really like that option too. So. Yeah, that's it. Um, I did want to share that with you and know that I'll be doing videos and things with that um, once I can hear a heartbeat at home. So I just wanted to share uh, a little bit about Dopplers. And if you guys have any questions um, that you think I might be able to answer, feel free to ask. Um, but I would recommend Stork Radio. They did a good job um, with my, I don't know, billing and answering my questions and everything like that. So... Um, I think that's it, but like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Bye, girls.